Morgan? What is the meaning of life? Are you kidding me? Well, who knows? You may have the answer, and I'd really hate to miss it, because I was too socially inhibited to ask. Once. And only once. I asked that question. What is the meaning of life? 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 And got a serious answer. An answer that is still with you. On the Greek island of Crete, near a small village, sits an institute dedicated to human understanding and peace, but especially to the reconciliation of the Germans and the natives. The site is important because it overlooks a small airship that is where the Nazi paratroopers invaded the island and were attacked by peasants who were kitchenizing hay sites. The retribution was terrible. Populations of whole villages were lined up in shock for assaulting Hitler's finest troops. High above the institution is a cemetery with a single cross, marking the mass grave of the, of the native Persians. Across the bay is the regimental burial grounds of the Nazi paratroopers. The, the memorials are placed out so all may see and never forget. Hatred was the only weapon the Greeks had left at the end, and it was the, that weapon that many got never to give up. In this historical place, where the stone of hatred is hard and thick, the existence of an institute devoted to healing the wounds of war is a fragile paradox. So how has it come to come here? The answer is a man, Alexander Papadopoulos, doctor of philosophy, teacher, politician, son of the soil. At the end of the war, Papadopoulos came to believe that those of Crete and those of Germany had much to give one another, much to learn from each other. For if they can forgive and construct a creative relationship, then anyone on this earth could. between the two countries. By the time I got to the Institute for Summer Sessions, Papa Dale was already a living legend. One look at him and you saw his strength, his intelligence, and his passion. At the end of the last day, after a two-week seminar, Papa Dale rose from his chair in the back of the room and walked to the front, where he stood in the Greek sunlight of an open window and looked out. He followed his gaze across the bay to an iron cross marking the German cemetery. He turned and asked, Are there any questions? Quiet quilted the room. These two weeks had generated enough questions for a lifetime, but for now, there was only silence. So I asked, Dr. Papaderos, what is the meaning of life? Some laughed at the obscurity of the question, and some stirred to go. He raised his hand and stilled the room. I will answer the question. He fished into his leather billfold and pulled out a small round mirror. And what he said went like this. When I was a small child, I was very, very poor and grew up in a small, remote village. One day on the road, I came across pieces of a broken mirror. A German motorcycle had been wrecked in this place. I tried to collect all the pieces and put them together. But it was not possible. I got only the largest piece, this one. And by scratching it on the stone, I made it round. I, beca I began to play with it as a toy and became fascinated that I could reflect light into dark places, into deep holes and crevices and dark closets. It became a game for me to try to get light into the most inaccessible places I could find. I kept the little mirror, and as I went about my growing up, I would take it out in idle moments to renew the challenge of but as I became an adult, I realized this was not just a game, but a metaphor for what I might do with my life. I realized that I was not the light or the source of the light, but the light, truth, understanding, knowledge. Is there a different dark places only if I reflect it? I was a fragment of a piece of mirror which I did not know the whole shape and design of. Nevertheless, what I have, I can reflect light into dark places of this world. Into the dark places in the hearts of men, and change some things and some people. Perhaps others may see and do likewise. This is the meaning of my life. This is what I am about. He took the 
small mirror and holding it carefully, caught the bright rays of daylight streaming through the window and reflected them onto my face and onto my hands, folded on the classroom desk. Are there any questions? 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 Are there any questions?